great, man. Best I ever felt. How long was the process for you after the meeting in June and then to wait till everything was cleared to pay for? How, much, how long did that feel to you? Um, it was like a year and a couple months, but I felt like that was, you know, just being away from somebody I love. Can you walk us through the moment that you got cleared and just emotionally what that was like? Um, Coach um, Sweeney had called me in his office. I, ain't, I, 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 I honestly, I didn't know what he was going to say, so, but he ended, he ended up telling me I'm, I'm ready to play. And it was, it was just something real big for me. It was real big for me. That was in June? Oh, nah, that was, you talking about when I had. When you got like this? Oh, nah, yeah, yeah. It was, um, it was like last week. Oh, okay. Big appointment. Uh -huh. So the doctors in June know clear you had to get through Clemson, yeah, I guess? Yeah, I had to get through, through all the legal stuff and everything like that. That was more just a semantic. You felt like all the time though, that you were going to. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. I, I had, I had 100 percent confidence, but I mean, it, it's, it's always just that curiosity. Just not going. It felt good, man. I was, I'm, I'm ready. I was ready to go, man. Just, just ready to be able to just get back to working. Just, just being off a year, it, 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 it took a toll on me, but back now. Do you feel any physical limitations at all, or do you feel like, like you did before? I feel like the old, same old J-Rock. How hard was it for you, though, to have to go to protocol? Being, oh, being yeah. you were ready to go and you, you couldn't get out of here. Oh, yeah. I mean, that, yeah, that, that's just another another form of adversity, man. It's life, man. It, it happens. <laughs> Justin, are you aware of any previous person, a football player, who's had this specific condition and, and come back? Um, uh, no. Nah. Christian was telling us that he has talked to you a lot about not playing fearfully and being ready to take that first yeah. bit. Just, how do you feel about whenever that time does come being sitting next to Christian? I'm ready. It ain't, I ain't got no, no piece of fear in it at all. I'm ready to play. What was that process like for you, though, that you know, finding out you had that, you know, after your surgery and then sitting out last year? It was hard. Just, 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 the, just the not knowing part. I mean, if, if I would have knew, like if, like, if I would have knew if I couldn't play at all, I mean, it, that would have probably been just, just that curiosity that, that was just messing with me and that Who was your first reaction when you had that condition? Um, I, I shared I a tear. I mean, just just because just cause how they how it came off, it came off and like, you probably won't ever feel again. I mean, this is something that I've been working for my whole life since I was, since I was a kid. And just, just having it took away from me like that, that's real hard. But did that thought into your mind that you would not never play again, or did you always think, you know, I'm gonna try to do whatever I can to, to be come back? I mean, just, just from from the first appointment with everybody, just, just just hearing that you you might not be able to play again, that that, that was that was something different. But I always had faith. I always had faith. When you were in the process, when did it come apparent that maybe you could come back, and and, and what doctor told you that that there was a chance you come back? Um, when. When I had first talked to Dr. Oconco up there in Pittsburgh, and he said he was going to do the surgery for me, that's that's when that's when that's when everything had came back to me. Just just gave me a chance, really. Justin, even when you were waiting on word from, I guess Clemson, even though you were confident, you cleared. Did you have a backup plan for, like, if you had not been, like, your plan B, plan C? Uh, I ain't gonna lie, it, it, it was never plan B. It was never plan B, plan C. It was always just. Focusing on one, on one thing. Did anybody uh, explain risks to you in terms of, you know, like if you do this, there's a chance of other injuries that could occur? Or did they give you really good assurance that oh, you yeah. should be all right? Yeah, they did. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, guys. I mean, yeah. so, Do you feel like you look to improve um, just that, just that on that same old explosive player, just same old physical, strong, explosive player, and that, that I can take a hit. There, do you feel like in Georgia game, first game on, you're going to be ready to go out there and play a full workload, or do you kind of want to be eased back into things and kind of see how it goes? Oh, no, nah, if, it's, if it's up to me, I'm ready to play a full four-quarter game. Coach Weenie has talked about moving you into the slot this year. How does that benefit your game? Um, Just, just because I, I this would be the only position that I haven't played since I've been in Clemson. I played, I played in the boundary. I played to the field. So this would be the only position that I, that I haven't played. So I just show NFL scouts that I, they can really put me anywhere they want to on the field. How much are you playing of those three positions? You, I know today was your first day out there, but in the spring, how much are they using you in, in breaking that up? 
they'll, they'll mix it up a little bit. I'll, I'll be in the sliding and I'll go to the boundary a little bit. But yeah, they'll, they'll mix it up a little bit. I, I probably I probably just won't only play in the slide. I'll probably be in the boundary too, sometimes in the field too. What do you feel about your skill set allows you to do that versus? Um, just that I'm a big guy. I can and, and I can I feel like I can move like a little guy. Justin, is there anybody, family member, friend that you really talk to maybe every day or just sort of lean on for support? You know, way, as you went through this whole process over the last year and a half. Oh yeah, my mama. She 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 always she always told me keep that faith. That's why I get this confidence from about just about just being ready to go out and go out there and play. She always told me I'm in God's hands. So you'll always is it understanding that you'll always have the fusion, but the disc got taken care of surgically? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. What, uh, what do you think it'll be like playing DK and going up against him that first game? Is that, is that going to be fun? Oh yeah, it's, yeah, it's going to be real fun, man. That's like, that's like one of my best friends, man. So yeah, we're we going we gonna, we gonna to go at it. Y'all have some battles on the practice field? Oh yeah, yeah. When, when left, my sophomore year, that, he, he the only person that used to guard me for real. So yeah, we've been going out for a minute. Have you talked to him at all about Georgia and how things are going at all? No, we don't really talk about the game. I mean, we, when, when it get here, it get here. What about receiving wise? Like, are there other guys that you've seen kind of step up on this receiving core? Um, young guys that you feel like are ready to, to kind of show what they can do too. Oh yeah, I feel like um, all the young guys that, that really came in, I feel like I feel like they're ready to play. The bold, the car, EJ, EJ is ready. I feel like everybody ready to play right now. I think some of the defensive backs here are even worse saying they're excited to have you back to kind of go against you. I mean, is it you're kind of looking forward to that competition yourself? Oh yeah, oh yeah. I, I, I love to compete, and that, that, that's that's one of the biggest things for me. I mean, I I, I love to be out here, but I also love to compete. So, what sort of your expectations for this receiver group as a whole? I feel like we can be one, one of the top receiver groups in the country, most definitely. Can you tell us about EJ? Like, what is it about? I mean, it looks like he's really kind of taking his game to a, another level now. Can you tell us about him and how long you've known what kind of player he is? Uh, I, I, I always knew EJ was gonna be just a superstar. Ever since he was in, ever since he was ninth grade, when, when he had first moved up to varsity, uh, at Central, I always knew he was gonna be a superstar. What's it gonna be like when you? Get your first contact on. I guess I don't know, 19 months maybe. Yeah, I mean, hey, I'm, I'm ready for it, man. I can't, I can't wait. I can't wait for it. What is your connection like with DJ at this point? Obviously, you were around practicing a little bit last year. I mean, how much do you really get chemistry with him? Oh yeah, I feel, I feel like me and DJ, we, we got a good chemistry going. We, 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 we was working out through the summer and, and the spring, so I feel like yeah, we, we developed real good chemistry. Are you gonna go try to find that first contact, you know, catch maybe the ball and then just maybe try to run into the safety or something to make it out of the way? <laughs> uh, no, nah, I probably won't just run straight into the safety, but I'm, I'm going to school. But I mean, I, when it comes, I'm gonna be ready. <laughs> Good day to come back. Man. Good day to come back. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. Thanks, Joe.